Hi guys, my question is, you know, these are robots, right? But we kind of get a different, you know, they have kind of emotions and, and I mean, I, I love the show A Small Wonder. That's what made me think of it because even those robots, you hear them kind of talk like a robot, right? right? So I was just wondering why you went in a different route with these robots. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like you're, you're um, kind of talking about how they express themselves through an app at the beginning. And I, mm -hmm. I feel like it might be kind of cool to talk about here. Yeah, I mean, I think that, I think we wanted the robots to be relatable, uh, you know, and so it sort of felt, I mean, we have like, um, we occasionally you bump into like our generic robots and they have more of a robot voice. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that was a robot voice, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it was you know, good, I liked it. <laughs> We wanted our main cast to kind of, you know, to feel relatable to kids and also just to really push the comedy with them. It felt like we didn't want to, you know, uh, we wanted to give them bigger personalities than maybe um, a more sort of buttoned up robot would have. Mm -hmm. um, but while they, you know, while they do have emotions, like one thing that we were very conscious of was to keep it in a sort of robotic way. So in the pilot episode, you know, Doug's parents want to show Doug that they appreciate him. So what do they do? They make an app that explodes in a little holographic heart. Or whenever they taste something, you know, I don't, we don't necessarily imply that they have taste buds, but they have sensors that sort of emote on their tummy screens that kind of show them what they think the taste might have been. So it was sort of, while they do have um, emotions, it was like important to us to keep them sort of in a, in a robotic language a little bit. Like we use language, like my sensors indicate that. Yeah. Mm. So even though they're having maybe a, a sense or a feeling that is human, we had them do it in a robot way. And, and you know, I think it, it really helped with this family um, to feel their love and to have them feel relatable, but then, you know, they feel special because they're robots. And then also we did that physically where, you know, dad has these extendo arms that kind of get out of control and um, mom's has like rockets in her skirt. And so, you know, we did some stuff that's fun just for like cartoon world. Mm -hmm. um, but there's this kind of earnestness in their feelings that they have for each other. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, right. um, you mentioned, you know, adding the new character and everything from the series. Is there anything else from the book that you had to have in the series or something that was in the book that didn't make it in the show that you wish we had i mean funnily enough a thing that was uh so it's, it's obviously the books there's two books um mm -hmm. and in the second book doug goes to a farm to visit his grandparents who who inexplicably as robots run a a, a farm out in the country and so we did keep we kept that because it's just so charming uh to, to see these robots run this this uh farm um you know, I th but but uh, beyond that, I mean, I think that really what we take from the book is the spirit of the book and the spirit of Doug and obviously the message. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say there's anything we left out. It's uh, we just sort of took what that book sort of represented and, and tried to hopefully make a nice show that that sort of stays true to what Dan was originally saying. Yeah, I think just like the, you know, the main thing was to this idea of unplugging and going out into the world and experiencing the world, like as far as something we just had to have, like that was ob obviously the thing that we all were in love with that we wanted to make sure was prominent in the show. Um, so I think, you know, there's a little bit of like a kind of retro flavor to the design of um, Dan's amazing work that um, ended up like kind of not being right as our show takes place five years in the future. Mm -hmm. So if there was something that we had to not incorporate as much, maybe that would be something like that. But we did, you know, we had Doug as kind of a golden color, like how, how he is in Dan's book. So there, there's definitely a lot of homage to what um, Dan did. Great, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. I just want to know in the future, you know, episodes that we might see come in, will you incorporate like anything happening in the world today? Will any of the characters wear masks or anything like that? <laughs> uh, we, we try not to talk about future episodes, um, mm -hmm. just to keep in the spirit with of focusing on our current episodes and, um, you know, so I think probably we want to focus on that but I think that just generally speaking we do you know um, even if we're not hitting a theme completely on the head it's just about trying to focus on stories that feel like they will resonate with our kids and parents of today. Yeah. 
Well, thank you guys. Thanks for coming today. <laughs> thank and <you. laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thanks so much. <laughs>